Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about mantis shrimp, as you can see on my screen. So, the goal for today is to quickly uh, go through the basic setup and some basic import export uh, capabilities that mantis shrimp offers. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about, you know, mantis shrimp not working properly and whatnot. So today I'm just going to give you a quick overview of how to get it installed properly and how to uh, do some simple import-export. So let's get started. Um, I'm on the main page of Mantis Shrimp GitHub repo. This is just to show you uh, there's some basic instructions over here as well as links to my blog that explain some of the, the setup, although it might be a little bit outdated just because Mantis Shrimp is you know, constantly evolving. So first thing that you want uh, to do is if you open up Dynamo, you can see I don't have Mantis Shrimp installed. So I'm just going to go from a blank slate like any other user. You got your Dynamo installed, hopefully. So when you come here to Dynamo, under Packages, search for Package. There's going to be a window that comes up and it's going to pull up all of the available packages from the Dynamo community. And since Mantis Shrimp was recently updated, it's going to be up on the top, but um, don't bet on that. I would say um, you can quick you can quickly find it if you just uh, if you just type in mantis or whatever. Um, so once you see once you see mantis shrimp up there, just click the arrow, which will uh, pop the message and ask you if you want to install it. So you hit OK. If everything goes well, this is gonna kind of go light baby blue, and you see a mantis shrimp bar come up on the left. Uh, so if you close this, now you have all the mantis shrimp components installed. Um, so your Dynamo side is basically set up. Now, if you want to interact with uh, 3DM files, this is it. This is, you don't have to do anything else. If you want to interact with Grasshopper directly, there's one more thing that you have to do. Um, that thing is you have to copy the uh, you have to copy user objects that downloaded with mantis shrimp into uh, into grasshopper user project user uh, objects folder so uh, if you go over here so this is a this is a standard path where all the all the packages are being kept by Dynamo so it's going to be obviously your username App data roaming Dynamo 7 packages. And now that we install Mantis Shrimp, if you go here, you will see uh, all the folders. The DYF contains all the definitions, custom nodes for Dynamo. Bin contains a Rhino common, which we need uh, a library. And then extra contains nodes for Grasshopper. So the nodes for Grasshopper are the ones with the Grasshopper user extension. Do not move Mantis Shrimp PY from this folder. It stays here. What you do is copy everything else. And just copy it. And where you copy it into is where the special folder for Grasshopper components uh, is. And it's under user objects. So again, this location is specific to your computer because it relies on your username. So again, it's going to be under your username, app data, roaming, grasshopper, user objects. And all you have to do is paste those in here. So if you do that, and then you switch over to, you switch over to grasshopper, you're going to have a new tab, a new tab called Archilab, and it's going to have all of these nodes over here available. So this is your this is your basic setup. It should be good to go. Uh, there's always one more thing that I, that I ask people to check. Just because Mantis Shrimp is a custom Python component, as you can see, you do need a Python installed, a Python for Grasshopper. What that means is. If you quickly go to Food for Rhino and then search for 
Grasshopper Python. And it's being a little slow. You do need to download and install this additional component for your Grasshopper. Um, if you trying to interact with Rhino files, you don't have to. You do need this for Grasshopper interaction just because these nodes, all these components are written with Python and you need that. You need to be able to, uh, to do that. You need to have Python script component available for all these to work. So that's it. That's that's your setup. That's all you have to do. There is not there's nothing else. There's no no special things that you have to do. Um, if you cannot find your grasshopper special nodes component, I mean special component, user object component folder, I'm sorry I can speak. Then if you just go to file, open grasshopper go file special folders and then user objects folder that will take you directly there I like to keep a shortcut for that uh, on the folder or somewhere in my on my bar on my favorites I tend to use it a lot um, so that will be that will be it there's really nothing else and you can start using mantis shrimp right away um, next video I'm gonna go over some basic transfers First, we're going to move some geometry between <coughs> Grasshopper and Dynamo. So stay tuned for the next video.